Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hard Space Shipbreaker. My name is Vilkata and in this episode we're going to revisit the mackerel. But this time we're going to break down an exolab. And these tend to be chalked full of electronics and just really packed in and it's really easy to bang something around and cause a chain reaction. So we're going to tear one of these down in two shifts. So these things also tend to have a ton of things on the outside. Quick easy money that you can just break right off if my brakes work. So that one is attached. Utility arm. Is this guy going to require... Yep, he's going to require explosives. Alright. Let's go ahead and get these guys off real quick. And let's make sure that the explosives aren't going to tear into something next to it. No, they're not. Plenty of room. I believe that will come straight off. Yes, it will. Just have to go straight down. About efficiency. This guy is attached. So this part, like right here, is the mount, which is attached on the inside, but the antenna goes to the barge. So we can just cut that right off. Let's make sure that this can't be cut. It cannot. All right. Secured. And we'll just get rid of this front bracket. I think it's going to be everything from the exterior. Yeah. Alright. assume this is going to be, yep, it is pressurized. <laughs> you know, at this level of difficulty, you really don't run into ships that aren't pressurized anymore. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Airlock pressure levels dropping. So we get to go inside and find out how many of the atmospheric regulators are broken. Airlock pressure levels increasing. So I was talking about these exolabs are just chalked full of things and it's broken. All kinds of stuff that can break from a decompression event. Long pressure levels dropping. And <laughs> unfortunately that is the only uh, atmospheric regulator because these doors just go into the chamber behind it but they are not sealed. You can actually see under it. So that was our one chance at not having to explosively decompress this baby. All right, so we can go up like we have in the past, I believe, through hatches, but we don't have hatches on this one. Or we can go out through the door. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up. And the reason I say that is because when you cut a door out, when you cut anything out, or, you know, off of a uh, cut point, it tends to weaken the structure. And, you know, if I don't have to go through the door, then, you know, it's just less weakened. So, here we go. Alright, where'd that panel go? Alright. Alright, no notification of anything getting destroyed, that's a good sign, but it doesn't mean that something isn't damaged, so we need to get back in there quickly and make sure there aren't electrical arcs bouncing around. 
Nope. All right. Clean decompression. Okay, now this is aluminum, so we're gonna do a precision cut here. And we need to be really quick about this on the uh, Exolab because, again, we're gonna spend a lot of time taking all these things off the wall and having to do so carefully because they are, you know, electronics. You bang one and then they all chain react. And that's no good. So, quick and efficient here. Can't see that from over there. This should be a table, right? It is not a table. Alright, so we can break these doors out. They are not, they're just doors, they're not airlock doors, so they just break on out. There's also no door handle, you know, no uh, console. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. And I think what we're going to do on this one is we're just going to immediately take the front off because there's so many objects blocking our view along the sides. And we want to get these floor panels off. We're just going to go ahead and decompress the side walls by taking the front off. You know, normally we do top and bottom first, but we gotta we gotta be prepared to kind of do things on the fly. You know, just change our strategy when we have to. So that gave us visibility down here is what we wanted. I'm still getting pushed back by the the air <laughs> coming out of the sides. Alright, there we go. There we go. Okay, well, he's going to go over there. <laughs> we'll move him later. Let's start clearing some of these out. Now, we could be a little abusive here with our tethers. And just start tethering these things down. But they come off really fast because they're so light. And it would really increase the chances that it would bang onto other things that are beside it. And in my opinion, it's not really worth the, the risk. Because it's not going to save us an entire shift. You know, if we could get this whole thing done in one shift by doing that, then maybe I would risk it. And, you know, maybe we'll do another video where we just try it. And see just how fast we can clear using that technique. But we're not going to do that in this episode. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. And see, these guys are on a little lip. A little rail there, so you couldn't even do those straight down. They would kind of bang. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. It's also why I'm not doing this from the top down, like normally I would in other vessels. Because I know I need to carry it sideways, and this is giving me an easier view of where that little ledge is. And in case you're not sure what I was talking about when I was saying we could kind of abuse the tethers by dragging all of these straight down. We'll do this one right here. So now I can just forget about that guy. But see, look at that. When he went, he arced like crazy. In fact, I'm, gonna, I'm switching to this room real quick because I saw the arc go in here. And I knew it would start doing damage, so we gotta get 
We gotta get these things before they're destroyed. So that's not good. That's risky. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Alright, I think we got away with it. Looks like it destroyed a piece of food. <laughs> we don't care about that. But you can see the risk of doing that quick drag with a uh, tether on electronics, especially when they're so light, because they just they bang into things right off the edge. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Don't want to grab that door panel yet. So I'll probably open the door. I always like to get an angle to try to get both of these at the same time. It's just satisfying. Again, to get this guy off the wall, I you heard that Credit loud positive. noise. It's, sometimes there's a collision error, or when you free something up, it'll it'll think it's banging into stuff, even though it isn't. It's kind of got to let it go for a minute and come back to it, and it'll come free. Bye-bye. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. All right. We've got a minute to go. Let's cut the glass out. If we get this right in the middle, we get both sides of the glass. As usual with the mackerels, I'm going to leave the cockpit until the end. And if we have time, then we'll be able to cut out the uh, aluminum. These exolabs are kind of a pain. I think I mentioned it when I did the heavy cargo version of this that some of the mackerels have pipes. Others have uh, cables. This is the cable version. 2.5 million. Pretty good starting starting shift. All right. All right. Let's finish this up. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. So we gotta be we gotta be kinda quick about this because this is a lot of stuff to Valuable cut. object process. Credits deposited. Because these 
all these power cells are sitting on junctions that need to be broken off. Unless you just want to not turn in any of the <laughs> the uh, cables, but you know we want to be as thorough as we can. It also makes it a little more challenging because the precision cutting necessary, so you don't break all of the cables. So we're not going to get away with doing the same trick we did with the heavy cargo version of the ship, which was taking the whole wall in one, one tether. Because we're fully disconnecting everything. Boy, they just really like to make those in inconvenient places, don't they? It's good money having all these stray objects to chuck on the barge. Don't get me wrong. But you gotta be careful and gotta work swiftly. going to not work our way all the way to the back yet. We're going to get some of this out of our way so that it's just kind of easier to get in and out. I'm going to strip the mount off the back of these. time to be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. Get this out of the way, please. Account credit applied. Alright. Go, go, go. The cables go into the furnace, as opposed to the pipes that go into processor, which is kind of what makes this more complicated. So I'm going to try to kind of just leave the cables floating and do that as a, you know, a last minute cleanup. I might grab some of the larger ones, like these that are kind of in the way anyway. But otherwise, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time Tossing them in until the end. So we have bigger fish to fry. Oh, we are doing this in two shifts. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. We still gotta get the thrusters out. We got a lot to do. Very little time. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Bottom plate out. 
This has the mount attached to it, which is fine because the Ooh, no no no. <laughs> the mount and the plate both go to the processor. So, all one piece, don't have to worry about it. There we go, chuck these guys. Quick, quick, quick. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Oh, these exolabs are so full. Second milestone. Get this guy out. Line ourselves up. Grab it and reel. Let go. Nice and clean. Perfect. Back off. All right. And all this has to be detached if you want to get, if you want to salvage any of the cables because they are attaching the sides together. Just like the pipes do on the heavy mackerel, the heavy cargo mackerel. Alright. Let's hit the other side. This one? bottom. It's one of the sides. Most of the cockpit is done. Secured. Account yeah, look at all of those power cells. Goodness. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Running out of air when I get this precision cutting done ro real quick. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please contact your planet. I'm not going to bother taking the mounts off of these. Coverage. We just don't have the time. Oop, wrong Oxygen level stabilizing. Just take the extra bits with you, I don't care. Cutter, there's five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while the getting's good. We wrap. Deposit accepted. Credit okay. transfer. The spinning ship is not making things any easier. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Let's take that light with you too. 
Okay, well that spun the ship back. <laughs> well, what do we have back there? Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Crew bed. Crew bed got away. Salvage All right. deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Let's grab the door handle. We are seriously running out of time. If we can get away with that string in the cables. Ooh. Get all these guys off of here. Come on, come on, come on. So I can get rid of these power cells. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Keep getting the inner support and it doesn't have a straight line of sight. You know what? I'm gonna let it take it. You know what? We don't have time to deal with it. It's gonna be some loss. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. It's not like these cables are high value. as thorough as we can, but we have to acknowledge that some things are higher value than other things. Alright. Into the furnace you go. Milestone number three. Time is winding down, Cutters. Dig deep and let's finish strong. So we want to clean up as many of these as we can. Make sure we didn't miss any important things like power cells. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Material deposited. Yeah, I'm not seeing any floating power cells except for that one right there. Oh, I am seeing a cockpit though that I <laughs> forgot about. <laughs> Fortunately, it's light with everything stripped off of it. There's another power cell. Oh no, it didn't make it! <laughs> Alright, so that's a breakdown with that 4 million on the second shift. Woo! That sucker was packed full of money. Yeah, so those exolabs, there's a lot to do in them, and you know, to pack it into two shifts, you really gotta, gotta push. But it's worth it. I mean, we, we save ourselves an entire shift worth of debt, so. 
that's that's fantastic. Look, all his power cells, 2.5 million. All right, so that is the Exolab mackerel. Uh, if you uh, if you enjoyed it, you know, leave me a like. It's uh, nice to see when people enjoy what I'm doing. And uh, you know, any comments or questions, you know, leave me a comment in the comment section. But uh, thank you very much for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you guys in a uh, future episode.